I get into a lot of fights on Facebook, a lot, like about gun control. I'm very passionate about gun control. And it's hard, right? Because the people who are in favor of guns will always bring up the Constitution, right? To be like, guns are in the Constitution. Constitution. And then they can't answer any specific other questions about that document. <laughs> right? You'd be like, who wrote the Constitution? They were like, we'll get back to you. And if you didn't laugh right now, it's because you're like, oh, shit, I don't know that either. <laughs> I see you. And it's fair. I didn't know. I didn't know. And I went to Harvard. And now I do this. So they pretty much cancel each other out, right? It's like being straight and being stuck with this voice. I looked it up. The Constitution was written by the Constitutional Style Committee. There were five guys. Alexander Hamilton, James Madison, several people who weren't in the musical. But the head of that committee was a man named Governor Morris. That was his real name, Governor. Not Governor, Governor. He was elected Senator, although I'm sure he pronounced it Senator. And that's Senator Governor, who had dreams of being the Presidente of the USA. He wrote the Constitution, he did. He had a peg leg. He was hit by a horse-drawn carriage, had his right leg amputated. Do you know how hard it is to get hit by a horse-drawn carriage? They are not fast. They are one to two horsepower, depending on the number of horses. That's science. They're not fast. That means the guy driving the carriage didn't see him for miles. And the horse did, but didn't give a shit. He was like, you're going down, buddy. Enjoy being a pirate. And that poorly named peg leg fella wrote the U.S. Constitution. He did. He wrote We the People. That was governor. He took a lot of the legal stuff out of the document so it's more readable. And then several years after the Constitution was ratified, his crowning achievement, he had a urinary blockage. He had trouble peeing. So he took a whalebone, which has bristles on the end. He shoved it in his penis. He pulled it out real fast. He bled out of his penis till he died. Yeah. And some of you are like, why would you interrupt a comedy show to tell us a graphic and violent <laughs> historical story? The answer is that the next time some idiot tells you we should have guns because it's in the Constitution, remind them that the people who wrote it didn't always have the best ideas. <laughs> Main guy bled out of his dick till he died. Which is the fact, why do we even know that? The only people who knew that were his closest friends and family. They could have said natural causes, but at least one of those assholes were like, oh no, I'm going to tell everybody. This needs to go down in history forever. It's also a fact you can't unknow. Right? Like an important fact just disappeared to make room. Right? Like your niece's birthday, obliterated. But the next time somebody says guns or constitution, you're like, blood, dick, governor. People are like, who invited you to present at this elementary school?